tug of wars, but have you ever seen one where the rope was made of bras? Well, women in West Cork are being asked to send their lingerie along with a little donation in to a shop to raise awareness for Breast Cancer Month in October. The shop, Sean Murray's, has asked women to help cover the town in bras for the month. I strongly suspect if you choose myself and Nora send hers, it would probably go around the equator, yes. Nora. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah. Can I just say, you very, yes. very strong rope, yes. very big one. Yeah, but I'm just wondering, I'm I mean, if they, I, they'll have to tie them because if they just clicked them into the little catches, they'd all burst, you know, when, when somebody went to pull them. I presume I they'd knit them in some way or Yeah, they'll, well, they'll them knot or them or something. Yeah. But yeah, they need to be old school bras, right? Like, they need to be the big triumph set of yes, bras. Yes, I think like so, yes. Like none of these little flimsy. None of the little tiny ones. 34 Bs. They need to be no, proper, no, like, no, 40 no, no, double no. FGs. Yes, yeah. Yeah. good grip. No. <laughs> Are you sharing something with us? <laughs> no, not a more. 36, maybe. <laughs> Give or take. Give or take, yeah. Then, be, then people would be sending them in anonymously because they won't want somebody to know what size they're sending in. Can you imagine, though, if you're going through Skibreen in October and there you see your underwear and all its crowning glory flying in the brick. But they want to cover the whole town in, yeah. in brass. Do you think, I mean, it's a very serious issue, breast cancer, but do you think things like this and these kind of novelty ideas, Emma, just cheer people up and give it a good PR? The, the one thing about breast cancer, it is a dreadful disease, but uh, I know... Uh, I have a f one good friend who's just going through um, her final stages of therapy now and the one thing that herself and her peers who are also going through it said that they need is a good old laugh and you know they need to cry as well and they need to obviously take it seriously but the one thing that gets them through is you know just poking fun at it and you know just having trying to bring levity into the situation yeah, yeah, so and, and, and if anything raises money for research and to also not only just research, but yeah. to actually to help the people going through it, like in terms of their, you know, uh, yeah, yeah. their makeup and their recovery yeah. and their wigs and all that kind of stuff. You know, it's all it's all good. Yeah, it's great. It's I, I mean, they're great innovative ideas. I think there was another idea a few years ago where a woman, in, I think it was Sligo, asked everybody to send their old bras up, and I think it was something to do with the Guinness Book of Records. But mm -hmm. they, you know, there, there's yeah. lots. I mean, I was just thinking if it was for men's prostate cancer. You know, could they do this? You know, women at least have something like bras I'm sorry, to make I've it significant. I don't even want to go there, Valerie. <laughs> um, I think it's a great idea to do something completely different because I know a lot of the charity lunches and everything, they've all gone by the wayside this year. So fundraising is really down. Yeah. And this is for free. I mean, it's all, all it's a matter, all it's matter of doing is really putting a bra, sending your bra in yeah. and um, doing it for fun. And a little donation. Basically. And a little donation, yeah. yeah. But I otherwise. You should all send one in and sign it. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's a good, good idea. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's but yours would idea. fetch a lot of money. Okay, you're the percentage. <laughs> 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 Listen, you behave yourself now, Nora. Oh, now we're going to take the news.